Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance here with another tool loadout video. Today I'm going to be looking at my Vito Pro Pack Tech MCT. I uh, previously have done a loadout on my TP4B. If you haven't seen that, you might want to check that out. Uh, and then also, both of these bags, you can see those in my truck loadout video. Uh, so I recently did post a video with using this bag about the small pockets where we'll start at here. Uh, and here in this small pocket, I like to keep my holstery mag uh, magnet. Uh, you can use this for a couple reasons. I put a light on it, also tools. There's a video about that if you want to look at that. But that's in this pocket. And then in this lower pocket, I just keep some batteries. I've got some double A's and triple A's uh, in this bag. That's for my lights and for my non-contact tester and things like that. Uh, we flip it to this side. Uh, same thing, similar stuff that I keep in my other bags. I've got the Pika pencil, uh, and then I also have the Ink Zaw Sharpies, a red and a black. And I probably won't put a lot of links to the description for all these, but if you see something that you're interested in and you can't find it, uh, just send me a message or comment down below uh, that you'd like to put a link, and I will do that for you. Up here on the top, I keep a very small uh, nine foot DeWalt uh, tape measure. This is magnetic, so I could put that on there easily too if I wasn't using it uh, for a light or something. And I just keep that just for if I need to take a quick measurement. I don't I don't need a big tape measure with me at all times. Uh, flip it around to the back. Same thing. I have a spider holster. Uh, show the reason why for that in that other video as well. But I clip my m12 surge into here if i'm climbing up a ladder or if i'm working with it outside and i don't want to set it on the ground it can go straight into here in this pouch i keep some of the venom rubber gloves i just keep those in there so that if i'm working on something where i'm going to be getting my hands uh, dirty or i want to keep them clean or i want to keep whatever the surface is clean that i'm working on i can use those uh, flip to the other side this side I keep the Milwaukee pen light. Uh, I like these. Uh, they work well and it just takes up a small space. It fits in there perfectly, so I like to use that there. And then a Fluke non-contact voltage tester. Uh, this is the 1AC-A2. Uh, I like it. It seems to work well. And then I keep a pair of the Milwaukee Cut Level 1s on the side. Again, these are my gloves of choice. I love these, and it's not just because... They're Milwaukee. I think most people probably think I'm a Milwaukee fanboy by now, but these are the best gloves uh, that I've been able to find as far as being able to feel the work that I'm doing. Now, as we open up this front, this is where I keep the bulk of my hand tools. And you will see that I have several uh, Knippics within this bag. I also have some Klein, some Weeha. But I'll get those out and show them to you. Also, an update, I did find a small parts container. And this hooks onto the magnet that I have on the inside. And that allows me to put things there. And that just stows away. So here I have, on this side, the Knippics. I think these are the 10-inch, the 8601-250s. These are the pliers wrench. Uh, great tool. It's a combination to me of an adjustable wrench and also a pair of uh, channel locks. Uh, so you're able to adjust to that fastener size, but you can easily open and close on it whenever you go to work those. These are great. If you don't have a pair of these, highly, highly recommend. Knipix. Also, I have the 10 inch Raptors. These are the 81 or 8741 250s. Uh, Again, just another different style uh, to be able to grab onto three sides of a fastener and, and also be able to quickly move on and off of it to make those turns. Uh, these have its place. So this is a different type of uh, plier. That's why I have it in this bag and not my TP4B. It's not every day I run into something where I need one of these, but if I need it, it's in my other bag and, and I'm able to get to these. And again, I want to say... This bag is primarily 
I do a lot of electric work out of it. So you're going to see a lot of tools that, that kind of are in that range. But I also have some other ones that work in other places. Uh, here I have the Knipix 10-inch Cobras. So I have all 10-inch uh, within this bag. This is the 8701250s. Uh, these are by far the best pair of channel locks, uh, is what we call them, even though we know that's the name brand, I guess, uh, that there is to me. I have a buddy named JV who I tried telling for probably the last six months that he needed to get a pair of these and try these out. And he's just dead set that they're too expensive compared to some that he's got. So I finally got him a pair. Uh, and he's going to find out soon that he's going to be buying a lot more Knipix as he after he uses those. Uh, I keep this M12 or a Milwaukee, sorry, light in the bag as well. Same one that's in my TP4B. I really like them. Takes regular batteries. I'd rather have that than a rechargeable because then when this light goes out, if I'm still needing to use it, I can just put new batteries in and it's full. I don't have to charge it and, and wait for that to happen. Uh, I keep some small zip ties uh, inside this bag just to have in case I need them. Uh, here's the uh, Klein Tools combination uh, bit or screwdriver. Uh, I use this. This I've got this bit in other forms, but sometimes I like to just grab this screwdriver and use it. It's primarily for electrical work. I've got the Pika set. Uh, I've got a, I think it's a six piece set i only keep four of those in here uh these are probably my favorite little screwdrivers to use i just like the way that they feel in my hand uh i have two phillips sizes and also two flathead sizes i don't know that I, they're really small letters and i'm not sure that my camera will be able to get onto those but it's a phillips one a phillips zero a 3.5 and a 2.5 of the slotted screwdrivers i keep those in there uh, for working on electronics i also have the knipix 100 percent insulated pliers these are the 986201s uh, i bought these specifically to hold wires in place or to put them into a breaker or sometimes whenever i'm dealing with hot wires I just like the idea of if I'm sticking this into a panel versus a pair of insulated standard uh, type pliers, I still have to worry about touching this on some type of, uh, whether it be wire or a piece within the panel itself versus this, they can touch anything and I won't don't have to worry about causing any kind of arc condition in any way. So I keep those in this bag as well. Uh, down in here in the very very front I keep a headlamp so that if I need that this is the Milwaukee headlamp it's okay uh, I can't remember how many lumens this one is I think maybe it says it's 300 or, or, or 350 but it's not real real bright it, it works good working on something that's right in front of your face but if you get up into an attic and you're wanting to light up a bigger area uh, this one isn't the best one uh, in my opinion this one is the 2103 uh, headlamp from Milwaukee. In here I have the 8 and one stubby. Uh, I keep that in this bag. I don't typically run into where I need a stubby that often. There's a review for this on the channel as well. This one is adjustable length. And then it's also got some bit storage. So I have some extra bits inside of there. Here we get to the Weira insulated uh, screwdrivers. I bought this set on Amazon and it also comes with two more sizes that I don't keep in this bag because those two sizes are the two sizes that I have in the Weha Pico Finish uh, smaller screwdrivers. This one is the square two. I also have a square one. Both of those come in handy when dealing with electrical. And then I have the Phillips 2 and the 5.5 slotted. And both of these have the laser etched tips. Let me see if I can get it to, to zoom in on that. If you can see those little markings, you, you can maybe barely see that. 
but these screwdrivers with these laser etched tips on them are phenomenal uh, I, I end up using these quite often more than I should probably even in conditions where insulation doesn't matter because it holds on to the screw so well like if you put on cover plates for electrical and you use this screwdriver with that laser etching on it, it the, you cannot hardly get the screw to fall off of there uh, I can't recommend these enough uh, $29.97 I think for a set of six screwdrivers and a wall mount uh, it's a really good deal for insulated screwdrivers on Amazon here I have the Knipex uh, shears uh, use these some and if I don't need them that often but every now and then I do they come in handy these are the 9505 155s and and again I'm not going to go into a review on every single tool or I'm going to try not to so the video doesn't end up being so long. This is just more so showing you what I have in my bag. Uh, this is a security T10 and T20. And this come with came with the uh, security cameras that we have. It comes in the box with every one. I just keep one in there in case I need it. It takes those security bits. Here I have the Knipex, uh shorter needle nose. It's the 26 11 200s. Uh, Everything that everything I've used from Knipex I really like. And again, these are the handles that I actually prefer over any of the other ones. Those are the cheaper ones. I like how these clean up a lot easier. I know somebody made a comment and said, my tools, are they all brand new? Uh, no, I, some of them might be, but I clean my tools pretty regularly, uh, almost after every use at the end of every day. And then I have the extended reach. These are really good for if you're working on a tub trying to clear out a drain or, or something like that. Knipex 2871280s. Uh, like these as well, work well. Two Klein nut drivers. I keep the quarter inch and the 5 sixteenths magnetic in my bag, mostly because they got this longer shaft if I need it. And you can uh, also, the bolt can go up through there uh, and you can get to a nut on something. Uh, I don't have to use these as often. I, like I said with the flip socket review, it's rare that I run into a situation where I need that. But every now and then, like I said, I like to have dedicated screwdrivers if possible unless uh, I just am trying to save space in a bag like my TP4B. I keep some different bit bits up in here, uh, just some different adapters. I can change out bits to whatever I need to a good space for them there's not really a lot more that you could put up here in these little pockets so that just seems like that's a good fit uh knipex lineman pliers uh let's see if they can get the number i don't know why some of these are easy and some of them's not zero nine zero one two forties uh, extremely strong good cutters on those i used to use lineman's a lot more than i do now uh, this one also has a fish tape puller uh, I used to always have to make sure I had a really good pair of these for cutting MC cable and things like that. But with these new Knipex uh, electricians pliers and cable shears I have, I find it that I just don't use Lyman pliers near as often as I used to. Here's the Knipex uh, forged wire strippers. These are the 1372-8s. Uh, these are a lot like the electrician's uh, installation pliers. You have a needle nose, except for this is a little bit wider, so that would be kind of like the, the thickness of a pair of Lyman's. Uh, you also have the same kind of combination pliers types uh, grip right there. But yet this one, the installation pliers, you only have from uh, 12 and 14 that you can strip. This one goes from 10 solid to 20 stranded uh, on those. Uh, so I can use these in the event where I'm stripping maybe wire for fire cable uh, alarm or fire alarm cable or speaker wire or whatever it is. If it's something different than standard electrical wire, I can use it for those. And then this also has the same type of cutters. And now I'm telling you these right here will cut through MC like butter. Uh, same thing as the installation pliers. And then these also have to where you can cut the 8 30 seconds and 6 30 seconds. And these you don't have to thread the bolt 
through there you can just stick them in and then cut them uh, and then it, the piece falls out it it's different than any of the other pairs that i've had and that actually works really really well uh, i know there's a lot of reviews on those out there you should check those out or if you want me to do one let me know here's the knipix sh cable shears um, it is the 95 11 200s uh, again, these are good for cutting too. I can get these a little bit wider than what I can the installation pliers or those forged wire strippers. So I keep these in there just in case I end up needing something like that. A uh, pair of 8 inch diagonals. Uh, I have another pair of these in my TP4B. Uh, I keep these in there. I, sometimes I do have multiples of tools in different bags just so I don't have to swap stuff back and forth. Uh, every now and then I don't have that yet, but I'm working towards it. And then a pair of installation pliers. Uh, these are the ones that I would grab out of that bag more than anything. This is probably the number one pair of pliers I get out because, again, these cutters here are great. I can strip 12 and 14 stranded or solid, and that's typically what I'm doing. And then you got a pair of needle nose. Uh, I love these pliers. Can't recommend these enough. A uh, small magnet, just picked this up on clearance, it fit in there, so I got it. And then I keep those Malcos in there. Uh, eventually I'll probably buy another flip socket handle and stick that into this bag as well. I may even get another 14 in one and just have one in each bag so that uh, if I want to take this bag in, I don't have to take tools out of that bag and remember to put them back. So that's this side. Now we'll flip it around to the back side and I'll show you what I have in there. So the first front side was more hand tools. This side is more uh, some some testing tools and also uh, different things. So in here I have my M12 Surge that I keep in this bag. Uh, I love this. It's far better than any other impact I've used. Way quieter. And you can tell that it's quieter if you're outside putting in fasteners. But the big difference is if you're inside of a cabinet or inside of some sort of panel, oh, it makes all the difference in the world. I got the rubber boot on mine. They typically don't look like this. This is actually the boot for the regular quarter inch impact driver, but it fits on the surge too. So if you have the surge and you've been wondering about that, it does work. I bought that for mine. And then here is the, it's the piece that works with the spider holster that I have right here. So if I want to carry that, it, it fits into there. I, I can take this and put it in my belt or I can leave it on there and attach that to the bag. Here's the Klein Tools uh, ET310. It's the transmitter and receiver for a breaker finder, but it's also a GFI and plug tester. I like that it's all in one. If I, if I need a plug tester, I've got it. If I need a breaker finder, I've got it. And it goes together, stays together. I like that about it. And it, it's it's probably the best one that I have used, uh, and I've probably used four or five in the course of my career. Up here in this top pocket, uh, temperature probe, have that with me in case I need to check some things. Uh, I also have some jumpers that I keep up here in the top. I'm not going to pull those out and show to you. And then I also have the short finder tool uh, that's up in here as well. Or I think I thought it was. Actually, that's... I'll have to find that. That's normally where it is. It's not there right now. Uh, down here I have, again, some more bits, some that are a little longer. It, there's little slots down there, so that, that works for that. I probably have more of those in my bag than I actually need. Uh, here is an insulated uh, bit adapter. You can put a bit in here, and it, it it's, puts insulation between your drill driver, your impact, and the bit so that if you do come in contact with something it's got some protection there built into that uh, here's the Klein tools little quarter inch ratchet uh, I use this to get into some tight spots uh, I like it seems like it works pretty good it's got enough uh, umph to it that I, I never feel like it's not got enough uh, ability for me to put enough torque on it to make it work. Uh, I like it and it takes up very little space. Uh, here I've got some just miscellaneous wire nuts, shims, wagos, 
keep that in that bag so that way I can just throw a few little things in here and if I take that bag somewhere I don't have to pack a whole uh, organizer worth of electrical tools just for some small thing. Uh, here's some more lead for my Pika pencil. Here's the short pro. I see it down in here now. I, so if you're looking to find a short in your uh, AC, thermostat wire, anything else, uh, that's there. That's typically up in here. I don't know why that got down in there. Uh, then let's see what I got down here in the bottom. I have some electrical tape stuck down in there in case I end up needing some of that. Uh, here I keep the, it's the Fluke T Plus Pro. Uh, I like this meter okay uh, just for quick electrical checks again you can't check everything with this but it, it's nice to see what kind of voltage you're dealing with uh, also gives you a digital readout of the voltage uh, checks continuity really quick and then this one also vibrates and lets you know certain things primarily just for electric uh, that's all that it gets used for and I like to have that. And then you don't have to have batteries for the, you do for the digital display, but all this will work without batteries if you're working on something that's got power. Uh, over here in the side, uh, again, more of the longer bits. I got some more Malcos and some more bit drivers. There's nothing else that you can really put in these little slots. So again, I probably have overkill on those, but I also run into situations where people ask me, hey, do you got a, you know, a, a bit I can use and that gives me the ability to give them those I got some tougher zip ties keep in there small pry bar uh, use that works good for taking off trim or just lifting up something a small amount that you need to uh, set of DeWalt demolition drivers I got the Phillips and the slotted uh, same one that I have in my TP4B I keep one of each inside of this bag again i've got some doubles because sometimes i just want to grab this bag and go and then not even worry about well i need to make sure i remember these tools out of that bag here's the volt claw uh i had this prior to buying the pair of Nipix, Knipix, all insulated uh pliers but this is works the same way it's 100 percent you know plastic there's no metal in this you can get inside of a panel, put that around a wire, and then hook onto it and pull it out. Sometimes this is handier than what that pair of pliers would be. So this is a good uh, option as well. I have the Klein Tools jab saw. It's the folding jab saw. That's the whole reason why I have this one is because I like the fact that uh, I can fold it up and I don't have this blade sticking in my bag and poking things. And I like this. I started to buy the type that take the uh, sawzall blades because then you could change it out and use it as a, you know, a metal saw or whatever you need to. But I find that this blade, if I'm wanting to cut drywall or I'm wanting to hammer this into the wall like that, this blade is a whole lot stronger than what a sawzall blade is going to be. And I just found myself needing that more often than needing a different kind of blade. So that's why I have this one in there. And then also, the last thing I have, another small torpedo level Milwaukee. Same one I have in my TP4B. I uh, really like this level, so I have that in there as well. So that's my loadout. Again, this is, I do facilities maintenance. This is the Tech MCT. Uh, but this bag is primarily my workhorse bag of, if I think I'm going to need several different tools to complete whatever the job is. And again, I primarily use it in electrical applications, it seems like, more often than not. If I'm totally wiring up a space or if I'm changing out just tons of stuff where I'm needing different testers and needing different ways to cut different wires and all sorts of things, then this bag right here, I just take this in and set it in the room. And I've got more options and I can usually take my MP1 and pull tools out of here and make myself whatever that make myself ready for whatever that task is. So that's my MCT loadout. Uh, let me know if you uh, saw anything that you want a link for in the description. I'll be glad to do that for you. Uh, also, let me know what you think. Uh, do you think I've got too much in there? Not enough? Or is there something that you saw? 
that you said, man, I really like that. Uh, just let me know by commenting below. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I mean, I'm over 100 subscribers already. I, it's hard for me to believe. I can't thank you guys enough for, for watching my videos and apparently liking them enough to subscribe. Uh, keep subscribing if you haven't done so yet. And thank you to those of you who have subscribed. I hope that y'all have a great uh, holiday break. Uh, want everyone to have a good new year coming up as well. And just I, I hope all is well with each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys on the next video.